these things here. We have to take them off. Just like this. How do you do that? We're replacing the pool cover with a new one. Thank you for your help because that's a big job. Mel's very sad about his favorite flop <laughs> flops. <laughs> flopped. Oh, yeah, they, they flopped. They flipped and then they flopped. They had he a good life. Lost his flipper. Look how skinny that front part got. <laughs> I, I wore him down good. It's truly tapered. It could be a good shim by the door. Keys in, so don't try and start the car with these. We're going to the garden. Which way is the garden? Back there, but she's gonna grab her sunglasses. I am ready to go to the garden for some foraging. That's what I want to study. Huge. Is this parsley? Yeah. Now you told me you guys would like make radish sandwiches when you were younger. So I was telling Mel, but what did you, how did you do it? Was it just butter and radish? Or? Uh -huh. And then sprinkle salt on the radish, make it nice and thick. And grandma always said just plain white bread. That look is at, so look at these, cool. how big they are. Wow. Back again. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh oh, somebody got at this one. Look at these. Holy. Here, I got it. Did you? Look at that. Oh man. That is glorious. That can lay in the garage and ripen a little bit more. I think the other one is... You hey, know? you got it. Oh, they both have to ripen. That's okay. But there's one down here. Look at these green peppers. Look at this thing. Can you see it? What are you chewing on? Mm. Fresh off the vine. Find a nice, nice orange one. Pop it in. <laughs> he caught Got it. In his mouth. <laughs> that was delicious. Mm. So good. Mm. They're so sweet. Sell it. Ooh. What is this, basil? Yeah. What is these? Mm. Whoa, what? and a mushroom. You lose it, Michigan. Guaranteed to kill you in three seconds. <laughs> this looks like some sort of squash. Oh my gosh. But we don't know, we've never grown that kind before. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Look at it go. Look at all these blossoms. We can make squash, squash blossoms. blossoms. Can't you saute them or something? You can put them on yeah. pizza. How many 
different types of to tomatoes are there right here? <laughs> We've probably got about eight different kinds. Look now, look at them all here. You gotta eat a bowl of these every day. We should investigate what, you know, what they're good for. I'm a real farm girl, babe. Mmm, these taste like cucumber with a little tartiness. Cucamelon. What's the other name for these? Sour gherkin. Sour gherkin. Spurkin. <laughs> this is what they look like on the inside. Do you have arugula in here? Yep. Um, we have to go on the other side. Here's all the arugula. Oh my goodness. Oops. With some beans in the middle of it. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Oh wow. Look at that. Oh. Holy cow. Babe. This is like dumb. Here's your lunch. It's He'll come out and pick one every oh, day look. of the week. Look. We've got bees coming over there. Oh my word. They've got five holes plugged up. And Jill Whoa. and I saw two bees sitting on it. Okay, now he's on me. That's so awesome. Go away. All these little ones that are plugged, mm -hmm. they have laid their eggs in the back. Jill and I came back here one day and there was a bee on top and there was one right here and that's the first bees we had seen. Oh my god. Tom gosh. was so excited how he's gonna pee his pants. <laughs> that's so cool. Oh this stuff's got a kick. I think it does. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's like a powerful, powerful arugula. Holy cow. And it like kind of creeps up. That's powerful arugula. <laughs> Isn't it? Oh yeah. Ooh. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like tingling my tongue. I know. Yeah. Oh babe, you're gonna love that with your salads. Yeah, we can do that in our smoothies too. Let's go look at Uncle Ralph's house. This is a house that Bob and Edie bought. It was Edie's uncle. Edie's uncle? It was Edie's uncle, and they completely redid the house, and now they're putting it up on the market. It's right next to their property here. Let's go check it out. That tree in the backyard is a tri-colored ash. See like the edges of the gorgeous, gorgeous. It's beautiful. It is. This is amazing. Holy So whose house was this, Evie? Um, it was my Uncle Ralph's. My Uncle Ralph and Aunt Rose. And this house was in the eye of the tornado of 1956. Along with our house next door, both houses were flattened and rebuilt on the same site in 1956. So how, how, do, these, how do these open? Well, that's how they're supposed to uh, just leave them. <laughs> Ooh, this is soft carpet. Oh, I bet you didn't see the carpet, did you? Or did you? I don't think so. Mm -mm. No, I bet you didn't because I think. Look, I think a bird ran into I the. I know. It's like a shape of a bird. I know. Oh. 
mud stuck on it for a while before the rainstorms, but we have to put a ladder in there and do this whole front window. Spice rack. Compliments of Joe. <laughs> that's nice. It was just a little extra. It's a door that's not being used for anything right. else. Dang. This is so pretty. Beer Wilson did a good job. Mary and, and I wiped all this down and it looks so much nicer. Wow. It was so Are you gonna um, leave any of the windows open to air it out a little well, bit? If they break. Bob, you got it. Nice, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this one. It's. <laughs> what? This one doesn't go back to the middle. Oh, maybe it just. I don't know, honey. Don't she start doesn't... around with everything and question it. Just be grateful that this stupid window is open. Wait, babe, she'll demonstrate that. Oh yeah, that's an antique. Also. This is a ceiling fan. I mean, like, a major ceiling fan. And you can put it, uh, you can time it. Why do you need a window open? Because it has to suck the air. It has to make a, a loop. Come over oh, here. Wow. Keep walking. Oh my gosh. Keep walking. Keep walking. Holy, is it sucking it in? No. I said I would oh, put it's my like air conditioning. I put my bed right here. Yeah. Isn't that amazing? Oh, that's so nice. And what kind of wood is this in here? <laughs> natty pine. They call it natty pine. And that was all the go. Um back in the 50s probably early 60s and it was usually the boy that in the family that got it. Boy or nice boys. Color, when dad was growing up, he had the naughty pine room. You have to do it good, otherwise you get to go back and do it again. That's true. Okay, we'll see ya. Do what? Yeah. Look at that. Shishi, <laughs> should we should we do a cash offer on the house? <laughs> Cash offer? Oh, yes. One, two, we are celebrating your birthday. You are 38 today. Best day of my whole year. Every year. Got some presents. A couple things to keep us clean. Mel has a bag of food in his hands. He found an amazing Asian restaurant, which is his favorite. So we are here having a little picnic with the ducks. And my mom and dad. Hey, Mama! Hey there! Come on, join the party! Right behind you. Oh, this is so nice! This is perfect! Isn't this fun? A water view! It's beautiful out! Yeah, oh. Mel! Happy birthday! And you know, <laughs> if this pandemic had never happened, we wouldn't be doing this. No. Maybe in a restaurant somewhere. Now oh, this is beautiful out. Oh. This has plastic on it. <laughs> poking away at it. Oh, this sauce is delicious too. Need to try a little bit. Is that? Mm -hmm. Did you get a sausage? Nope, not yet. Mm. This here. That sausage is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of lemon. Didn't even pray for another good year for you. I know. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks, Mmm. This is great. This is all I wanted. Mm. <laughs> oh, you can't kiss me. You ate your shrimp roll. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear Mel. <laughs> Happy 
Happy birthday to you. Happy hey, birthday. Happy birthday, Mel. Happy birthday to my favorite guy in the world. That's you. Thanks, guys. Goodbye, Hey, what's this? <laughs> Regalos? I do, I do. I deserve to be celebrated. Let this be the day you look around at your life and you feel proud of what you've accomplished and excited for what's still to come. Let this be a day you look at yourself in the mirror and see the wisdom of someone who's learned, the beauty of someone who's loved, and the one-of-a-kind wonder you are. I couldn't have said that better myself. <laughs> Let this be the day you look at the candles on your cake and see the memories you've made, the happiness you were wished, and the light you are to the world.